Continuing my occasional look at the inspiration or mythology behind history-themed folk band Heilung's music, this video will examine the song Anoana. Looking at the dramatic video, which features the life of a young woman, it is clear that there are some neo-pagan influences, and it is also evident that this is a video which subverts accepted mythology by portraying the female protagonist as horned, an attribute usually reserved for male deities. The video has a wild man of the woods theme, albeit in this instance as a wild woman of the woods. This mythological trope is connected to the Roman god Silvanus, goat men, fauns and the gods Pan and Dionysus. It also evokes the male-led wild hunt associated with both Odin and the English spirit known as Hearn the Hunter. Also the Celtic horn deity Kernanos and, going further back, Enkidu from the Epic of Gilgamesh, a representation of the Mesopotamian bull man. But the horned motif for anthropomorphism goes back further still than ancient Mesopotamia. The Trois Frères cave in Ariège, France, features what could be the earliest depiction of a god, dating as far back as the Paleolithic. The figure, dubbed the Sorcerer, was found in a cavern known as the Sanctuary. It is determined to have been made around 13,000 BC. In the 1920s, a Catholic priest called Henri Brule sketched the figure, which was a horned humanoid creature standing upright on two legs. The sorcerer has been interpreted as a master of animals or spirit of nature. Its presence in the cave gave rise to theories that ritual magic ceremonies took place there in what would have been one of the earliest known demonstrations of religious devotion. On seeing the sketch, the folklorist and anthropologist Margaret Murray said it represented the first depiction of a deity on Earth. It was further claimed that the demonstrably male figure revealed shamanistic practices were taking place among incredibly ancient people. This brings us to another ancient incidence of horned headgear, this time from modern-day North Yorkshire in England. The Mesolithic site known as Starcar yielded incredible finds after the find's discovery in 1947. Chief among these were Britain's oldest structure and, intriguingly, 21 red deer skull caps that are almost certainly to have been worn as headdresses. Opinion is still divided over what function these headdresses may have served, with some suggesting that they may have been used by hunter-gatherers as aids for blending in and stalking deer as prey, although others favour the explanation that they were used for ritual purposes, which would be an intriguing prospect. And it's one that's actually borne out by historical discoveries because around the same time as the Starcar headdresses, when Britain was still connected to mainland Europe via the now sunken Doggerland, there was an example of the female Bad Dorenberg shaman who was a young woman who wore a horned or antlered headdress as well as a ritualistic costume that included a number of other animal bones. Allied to this, there was also one notable goddess that was horned in the ancient Egyptian pantheon. The goddess Hathor was the goddess of love, beauty, music, dancing, fertility and pleasure. She was known as the protector of women, although men also worshipped her. Then there is the fanciful Satyress, a female version of the ancient Greek satyr, which was an artistic creation of post-Roman artists, but these too would exhibit horns and cloven feet, in a similar way to the Celtic god Kernanos. Speaking about the song, Highland singer Maria Fran said, Anuana contains lyrics that have been found on bracteates, which are golden coins from the Roman times. We found a lot of bracteates all throughout Europe, but pick the ones we don't know the meaning of. There's actually only one word being said in Anuana that we are fairly sure we know the meaning of, and it's Landa Warrior, which means protector of the land. She added, it is up for interpretation, but for us working with this piece, Anuana kind of took the shape of a young woman, and more will be told about that tale. It is a chapter not finished yet, so you will hear more from Anuana very soon. I'm certainly looking forward to hearing it. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. And thanks for watching. Just a reminder, you can also support this channel on Subscribestar. All contributions are gratefully received and will help the channel immensely. Bye for now.